and I'm so freaking happy to be back. I went around and I found all of the colors that I absolutely love that are just in my house, in my room, wherever. And I started to make a color palette using those colors that I chose. And now that I've done that, I'm definitely inspired to use more of these colors that I absolutely love in my artwork. I mean, it probably sounds really basic to some of you guys out there who are used to using certain colors, but I never really um, thought about color scheme as much as I'm doing now. My eye is bleeding, by the way. I don't know. It's not actually bleeding. I'm just weeping in the corner socket of my eye. Alas, what I'm going to be doing is sharing with you guys the little objects that I chose. Where should I begin? This beautiful Starbucks color scheme. I want to just paint my world with this color, this turquoise -y, delicious yum. Thanks to Sasha, who got me this, I now have this to stare at in my room. I don't think I'm going to even open this package. I'm just going to look at it. Mm. I am obsessed with the color beige. Give me some earth tones, girl, and I am just the happiest person ever. <sighs> this is another color that I am obsessed with, and it is this seafoam blue-green color. They're not all clothes, by the way. I have random stuff to get into, but... I like my clothes. I have this necklace that I got when I was really young. And you want to know what? You want to know who my favorite Disney princess was when I was a kid? It was Pocahontas. Yes, uh, that's who I wanted to be when I grew up. <laughs> Copper. Copper is such a beautiful color to me. Now, I actually have a whole video teaching you how to make one of these. It's, it's amazing. So if you want to watch that, I made it last fall season so you can go check that out but there's something about a nice amber that I could really just find myself falling in love with. I don't know what my deal is why I have a problem admitting that I do love the color pink but when I was in Marshalls and I saw this I had to get it. It's just a very feminine, um, I like the gold classy, I like golds a lot. Bluish purple can also be really beautiful especially if it's muted and it has almost a smoky gray color to it. And the gradient of color just makes me so happy. Some of the art that I'm absolutely obsessed with is that dark, mysterious, moody vibe going on. And there's something about a nice dark charcoal gray that really just does it for me. This smoky, mysterious little color going on. Another color that's on me already is this green color. I love a nice forest green. That has probably been one of my favorite colors since I was a little kid. And I remember I would be playing with my crayons. And I hate crayons. I have hated crayons since I was a little tot, okay? I just want to melt them and yeah. But the one thing that I really did like about crayons is, you see, I loved their names and I would make characters out of my crayons. I remember there was forest green and it, I just made a whole character of this boy. Up, but it was just a crayon. <laughs> I have issues. I really like shimmer a lot. That's another thing that doesn't really have to do with color as much, but mm. this is kind of a nice coral that I can't get enough of. This reminds me of a celebrity on the red carpet wearing this sexy dress. I don't know. If you want to know my favorite colors in a nutshell, it is the what is this? The Blushed Nudes Maybelline palette? The Blushed Nudes? I don't know. They're all colors that I just love. So even if I never used this on my eye, I still love to just stare at it and it would give me a lot of inspiration. Again, with the turquoise and the green, that deep foresty hunter green, it's all the bliss to me. Now this right here has a lot of personal meaning and value to me. This is a flower that uh, somebody gave me, which if you've watched another video I've mentioned this in, but I keep flowers that people give me and I don't like throwing them away. I'm weird and sentimental like that. I kept all of these dried leaves and I love the colors that are going on. I've probably said the colors in this video a million times and if you're playing a drinking game doing shots when each time I said the color scheme or color you'd probably have to get your stomach pumped. This makes me uh, feel you know great and happy like I've said 10 million times. Really digging that a lot. So this wow 
you just didn't want to be part of the family anymore, I guess. Now, on to I saved the best for last, and you guys are probably going to laugh at me because this probably just doesn't do it for you, and that's completely okay, but there is, God, there is just something about this object's colors that I just can't get over. <sighs> Twilight Woods just... I love these browns. It has um, kind of a rosy pink purpley kind of color also going on, but the coppers and uh, mm. That's pretty much all I had to share with you guys in this video. I'm sure I'm forgetting something, leaving it out, and I'll go cry about that later. But for the most part, I shared with you guys the colors that really just make me feel good thoughts. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you would like to make a follow-up video sharing the things that you love, the color schemes that you really gravitate towards, I would love to see your video, so leave me a link. And I know not everybody has time to make videos these days. I know a lot of you do, though. You guys do have channels because I am a little stalker, and I look through my comments, and I click you guys' pictures to see if you have um, videos. If you want to make a video, we can start a tag because I think this is a really fun thing to do. And you might actually learn something from this process because I really didn't know, and I don't know why I didn't get this, but I really do have this love relationship with some cool colors, which I, it's, it's very interesting to me because I always saw myself as somebody that gravitated towards warm tones, but I do have this thing about these blue oceany colors and I love the forest greens and stuff like that. Basically Santa Cruz, if you just, you know, <laughs> condense the colors of Santa Cruz, you would have my style in my head that I love. If this is your first time meeting me and saying hello, you can check out the rest of my videos. I have a whole bunch of weird stuff on my channel that you might like or hate and I don't know and you won't know until you look at them, so you give that a shot. Yep, I knew it. I was gonna forget something, and of course it was this shell, which is probably my second favorite thing in my room, but here you are. I just want to say again, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. It really means a lot to me. You guys are so awesome. I have a vlog that I'll be posting soon, and I'll be sharing adventures with you in um, my little art class and stuff, so hopefully you guys like that and we can catch up a bit. Go out and have a fabulous day, and I'm wishing you all the best on all of your artwork, and hope to see you guys soon. Mwah!